हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट ना क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ एक्यूट सप्यूरेटिव थायराइडाइटिस सो क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ एक्यूट थायराइडाइटिस और एक्यूट सप्यूरेटिव थायराइडाइटिस बिकॉज इट इज एन एक्यूट कंडीशन थायराइड पेन इज सीन विच इज रिफर्ड टू द दिस थायराइड पेन विच इज सीन इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस इट इज रिफर्ड टू द ईयर एंड थ्रोट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सी ए स्मॉल टेंडर ग्वाइटर इज ऑल्सो सीन द पेशेंट विल प्रेजेंट विथ fever dysphagia and erythema is seen over the thyroid then there can be systemic symptoms can also be seen like febrile illness and lymphadenopathy may be seen similarly these are the main uh, clinical features of acute suppurative thyroiditis then what about the complications so in the complications of acute suppurative thyroiditis the patient can have systemic sepsis this the infection from the thyroid gland because of its extensive blood supply it can travel to other parts of the body resulting in systemic sepsis it can travel to esophagus and trachea causing tracheal and esophageal rupture it can go to the jugular vein causing jugular vein thrombus thrombosis it can go to the larynx resulting in laryngeal chondritis or there can be infection of the perichondrium causing perichondritis and sympathetic trunk paralysis can also occur now how are you going to diagnose the condition with acute suppurative thyroiditis in acute suppurative thyroiditis one important thing is the esr and wbc are raised but if you see the thyroid function tests are normal in the acute suppurative thyroiditis so here we have to do an fnac for diagnosis esr and wbc are raised with fnac biopsy shows that there is infiltration of para polymorphonuclear leukocytes in the thyroid tissue if you see that these polymorphonuclear leukocytes are seen then you can diagnose the patient culture can be done mainly to identify the organism we can do culture and if the patient has pyriform persistent pyriform sinus in the children if there is persistent pyriform sinus in the children then always suspect about recurrent acute thyroiditis then what about the treatment of acute suppurative thyroiditis acute suppurative thyroiditis because it is an infectious condition first and foremost you should do parenteral antibiotics should be given to the patient along with the drainage of abscess parenteral antibiotics are given with drainage of abscess should be done and if the patient has persistent pyriform sinus has already said now in persistent pyriform sinus we have to do a complete resection of the sinus tract is very important along with the area that the tract come 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 communicates so you should resect the tract and you should also resect the area of the thyroid tissue to which like for example if this is the pyriform sinus and if this is the thyroid tissue if this is communicating here you will have to remove the thyroid you will have to remove the pyriform sinus and you will have to also remove the part of the thyroid which is in relation to the pyriform sinus fistula or pyriform tract Thank you and thank you for watching